Howdy everybody, Fajitum here. Uh, today I have something a little different. I've got a Brinks discus combination lock, which for the record I hate because these little thumb grips are too small to use comfortably. Um, and But ignoring that, it seems all right. Um, but if you've seen the lock picking lawyer video of this, you know that if you torque on this with a pair of vice grips or channel locks, you can pop it right open. That is not what I'm going to be doing today because breaking locks isn't what I do. Um, right now, code is 5933 because that's just what it happens to be from the last time I did this. But we're going to decode this, so let's change that combination. Take a flat tip screwdriver. I think in the instructions it actually says to use a coin, but whatever. Alright, that should be good. Turn it back. Scramble it up. This is always really nerve-wracking when you do it the first time, by the way, because this is just a small part of you that thinks you're about to brick this lock. Oh, uh, bad. Ooh. Why does that feel so? Okay, weird. Don't know what that was about, but anyway, just gonna get these all into gates. He uses, you can use channel locks for this. I'm gonna use vice grips just because I can lock them in place and not have to worry about it. And then I can just leverage them against the table like so. So this is like that. See, then I'm just twisting on here. Anyway. Now you gotta be careful if you're using vice grips for these because if you uh, clamp them on too hard, you'll bend this plate and it won't wanna turn. And it makes your life a little bit harder than it needs to be. Now, in every case of these I've seen, they bind left to right. And you'll notice this one is bound up and these ones are loose. Now, that means that if you're not sure if you've found a gate, it's pretty easy to check if this wheel is loose or not. All right, now they are, so. I don't think it's five. Now this first wheel is usually the hardest, at least on this lock. Actually, no, that might be it, might be five. Oh yeah, that's probably five. Sometimes you'll get a false positive, but I think that's five. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. You heard that on camera, but uh, you'll notice this got a lot looser and it moved a little bit when we hit seven. That's why, like I said, this one's the hardest one. It gets more obvious every digit you go. Oh, come on now. First, first rotation again. Yep, all right, so on this last one, you just loose tension, tighten, try again, try again, and there you go. loud. I'm sorry. Unprofessional. Oh, all right. So the combination was five, seven, seven, six. Only took me what, like a couple of minutes. That's not too bad. I don't remember. Did I say swindler was how I learned how to do this? Cause I learned how to do this from swindlers video. Uh, he does, he specializes in combo locks, from what I understand, so he's really good at what he does. This is my first combo lock. I usually do pin tumblers. Regardless, um, took a break from pin tumblers because this motherfucker, this 
goddamn piece of shit is ruining. If you can see those trap pin chambers on the left and right, there are four on each side. I've gotten the main bank and the first set of trap pins done, and I'm one away from a full rotation. Oh, that motherfucker. Only took me two weeks and one broken pick to make it that far. I don't know what I'm rambling. I'm thinking I might do a live stream tomorrow, because Ocknoob, I think, did one, and it seemed kind of fun. I don't know. I'm curious to see how that works, if you will even let me. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one after work tomorrow. We'll see. Will anyone show up? Probably not. I only have, like, what, 60-some-odd subscribers? Nearly 70, maybe. I don't know. Maybe one or two of you will show up. Who knows? I'm getting bored. I've been locked in my house for a week and a half now. Going insane. I'm talking to a camera. Woo. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you know. Bye. <laughs>